see right underneath my banner it gives it shows me where my um, arrow is on the screen which it's about three I don't know 350 pixels down if you want to get let's see yeah about 350 if you come up here to layout guides select the guides tab and select under the horizontal type in 350 click add click OK and then you can adjust it a little bit so it's just just falls underneath right there and then each one of these buttons you'll be able to bounce right back up to that we want to kind of get them centered as best we can like so anyways you can sit and adjust the the how how eye appealing it is however you want to do it I'm not going to spend the time right this minute doing it one thing you are going to want to do though is unlock each one or ungroup each one just so you can type into the text each one of your pages that'll go in for me I'm going to change the color of the text before I start typing to white and I'm going to put home and this one I'm going to put Oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to unlock it. And this one I'm going to put um, shop. Sorry, again, you got to select the white. Shop. This one I'm going to select. I'm going to type in blog. And this one I'm going to type in contact. Okay, so now we have all of our buttons, each one of them titled, and we're going to link. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a second page here in a second. Um, but what we have is we have our template, so we're going to come to home. If you come to home and look, now our, our home page is pretty much just like our master page, and every other page that we insert is going to be just like it. The only difference is, is we can adjust each one individually from here on out. So let's add a title to this. Again, I'm going to select the artistic text. I'm going to select Adventure Black and maybe 30. And I'm going to change the color right off the bat so I can see what I'm typing. And I'm going to type in Home Page. Okay, so we now have our Home Page title. Now, if you notice, I can't on the Home adjust any of this stuff. That can only be adjusted by going to the Master Page. And that's just so that you can control each page and make it look uniform. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a picture just for fun. Insert picture file. And we're going to insert maybe this rock band group. Um, these are pictures that I bought off of iStock Photo. And what you can do is kind of give yourself a cool if you notice it's real hard to see so what you can do is you can actually do the same thing we did with earlier with our gradient as you can come up here and copy it you can come up here and you can paste yourself another copy and you can change the color now I'm trying to think how I did it before I was able to actually adjust the color on this by just kinda selecting it like that and then adjusting the transparency to where it was real thin or real dark and you can put this guy over top and bring bring it to the front and tra and adjust the transparency on that maybe a little bit darker you can do any number of things you can do a gradient on it to where it's like that like that however you want to do it just to add yourself some cool effects um, it's really like I said before it's really amazing what you can do with web plus it's somewhat of a graphic design program as well next thing you're going to want to do is select a text frame text frame editing frame deal and draw yourself a little square and this is where you'll type in everything you want to type in about your business or your band or whatever it is you're wanting to add in and from there you have designed your own web page one thing you're going to want to do when you get it when you get the chance is you'll go back to the master page and you're going to link each one of these buttons 
So select them. You can regroup them if you'd like. Come to this little earth looking thing with the chain link. Select that and it'll ask you where you want to link it to. We're going to link it to a page in our site and we're going to link it to the home page. So all we have to do is select OK. Now, anytime on any one of these sites, on any one of the pages in our site, if you select on home, you now have a link back to the home page. Um, the final thing you're going to want to do is take a look and see about what it's going to look like on the internet. So if you hit Alt 1, it will open up an Internet Explorer browser and you'll be able to kind of take a peek and see exactly what it's going to show up like. So that's, you know, pretty much how you're going to build your website. When it okay, now on the next video I'm going to show you how to upload it, how to um, get it on the web itself, but for now you can spend some time really fooling around um, and and getting to know some of these tools I really suggest you get to you know know this different styles you can add to things you can always add you know 3d effects and do some really amazing stuff just by fooling around with it basically and and again these are you know real cheap programs and, and really great programs very powerful so that about does it for this um, we'll see you next time that about sums it up. Hopefully you learned enough to get your website up and running on the internet. Check back with us soon. We'll have more great videos that will show you everything you need to know from flash animation to photo albums to adding forums and even creating your own blog. Thanks for watching.